Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. In previous session, we have discussed how to hire an employee from the front end. It means from the UI, right? We got different uh, tabs. But if clients are having some thousands of employees and uh, lakhs of employees, if they want to load all these uh, thousands and lakhs of uh, employees data, then we cannot go for utilize this uh, particular uh, UI because uh, just now we have seen to hire an employee that itself is taking a long time. And uh, when user is trying to enter the worker data manually, he may enter some invalid data, right? That's why we will be loading the data by using the HCM data loader. What Oracle says, if you want to load HCM worker data by using HCM data loader, you, you can use the following standard template. Let, let's see that template. Go to data exchange. Once we go to data exchange, I could not find a HCM data loader option. We discussed already uh, which role is required for that. We need a human capital management integration specialist. Let me add this. It won't take much time for me. Uh, just search for your current user and then go for add the role. Human Capital Management Integration Specialist. Choose this role here. Uh, I think we have not added here it is. Human Capital Management Integration Specialist here. And let's go to data exchange here. After adding the role, let's go to Navigator, Data Exchange. We'll find uh, HCM data loader here and let's go for view business object. Now we are going to search for the business object called worker. Click this. Now we can find worker here. Let me download this template file. So once we download the template file, what happened? We will find all the possibilities for data loading. It means whatever the components we have within the worker object we will find. Let me open it in the notepad. Here, let me remove the comments. It looks like initially a little bit complex, but uh, I'll be giving the examples with multiple scenarios, okay? So that you will be clear, don't worry. How many different levels of components we have? 31. 31 levels of components we have here. We can look at that. worker data, person address, person citizenship, person email ID, person ethnicity, person legislative data group, person name data, person national identifier, passport, phone, work relation, work terms, assignment, working hours pattern, assignment, eligible job. Okay. So we'll find almost all the details uh, over here it is. So the first thing what we have to understand is out of this, what are mandatory? What are the components are mandatory? What are the components are mandatory? When we say this is our worker business object, in this worker business objects, how many components we have? 31 components we have. First, we have to identify what are those mandatory components for worker data loading. It's very simple not much complex. Let's go to our uh, application here. Click on this. 
worker business object. The moment when we click on the worker object, it will describe the components names here. Whatever the component names we have, 31 component names, it will display here in the left side. Here we can find the left side components. First worker is uh, mandate. If we look at here, first we have to understand the components. Then within these components, we have to understand the attributes. Okay. So in this session, I'll explain mandatory components uh, for worker data loading. Then next uh, session, we'll talk about the attributes. If we look at here, worker is mandatory. So we have to go for load the worker data. So whenever you find this uh, symbol, then we call it as C. It's a mandatory required for new record. When you try to load new record, worker record, it's a mandatory. Worker is mandatory. Then person name is mandatory. After that, work relationship is mandatory. Then employment terms is mandatory. Then assignment details are mandatory. So these are the five components we have to load for worker HDL file. This is the minimum, minimum components we are supposed to pass. Let me explain you how it's going to be compared means in the front end in our previous session we have discussed right let me take this into separate window so that you can easily understand let me compare with the front end here Let's go to my client groups. When you try to hire new employee, I have already explained how to hire an employee in the previous session. So I'm just directly going to open the page here and compare this. Let's go for hire an employee here. Now here we can find, this is worker basic information, hire date, hire action, legal employer. This is about the personal name information here. So if we look at here, our component, first worker data, then we can find work relationship. Work relationship is nothing but we are going to load the legal employer name and other information, employee type that we are going to load. Then employment terms. Employment terms is nothing but here it comes. Employment information here. Then we are going to find assignment information. Assignment details is nothing but a job name, position, grade, department, location that we are going to find out here. Already we have hired one employee. Let me search that employee. Go to navigator, person management, John Krish. Search for an employee here. And now if we go to search for this, you may not be able to get exact uh, structure right now. At least we got some idea. Okay, worker data, if we want to load, five components are required. What are those components? Worker, person name, work relationship, employment terms, and assignment. So here is a work relationship. So this data we are going to find. And here is assignment. So this assignment information, we are going to pass business unit and author. Here is actual worker details. This we are going to find. Means what is the effective start date of employee? What is the start date? What is the action code? These details. And then we have entered employee name, right? Employee name information. Nothing but a personal details. Where do we find? Let me show you. Person information. Nothing but first name, last name, and other details, right? So that we can find in this tab. So the hierarchy it comes first worker, then person name, within that work relationship, within that employment terms, within that assignment, this data. This we are going to find out. This is the comparison between front end. See, person information we are going to enter. So person name details. Where, where we are going to pass all this data, 
here. Here we are going to pass person details. Okay. So these are mandatory components in a worker data loading. Worker data loading. In the next session, we'll discuss worker wise. What are the attributes? Mandatory. Person name wise. What are the attributes are mandatory? How to link those components? What is the primary foreign correlation between this? That we'll discuss in our next session. Thank you.